ready to plan for a brand new month. Today we are planning March together and it's an extra special plan with me because we're going to be planning in two planners. So for my spiral gals, we'll be planning in the EC hourly. And then for my ring bound gals, we'll be planning in a Kiki with a glam planner horizontal, excuse me, hourly inside. So hourly EC, hourly glam planner. All right, sisters, are you ready to go from February to March? Let's do it. So the first thing I like to do is add my dashboard to the front of my planner. Since we're still in February, I'm gonna use February till the end of the month, and then I'll just move it to the back. So you can see I have January in the back here with the January dashboard. So hello 2019 plus the January dashboard. January planner pages, and in the far back, I have our book club reading list, Punch. So to get this in my planner, I'm going to use a universal six ring punch here. Just put it right in the middle and just kind of eyeball it so there's enough, there's the same amount of room. It's equidistant from top to bottom. And that looks pretty darn good. So we'll just punch and place it in. And I'm being good about opening my rings the correct way. All right, so that's already looking festive. And then when we open the planner, we have our seasonal living list here ready to go because that is printed inside the glam planners. Now for my spiral planners, I already put my dashboard and seasonal living list inside my EC and I just did a tutorial on adding these pages this week. I will link it down below if you want to pause and find out about this or I'll put it up at the end if you want to circle back to it. So it's ready to go here in my EC. So we will start with our monthly layouts. So we'll flip over and the first thing we'll do is add our headers. So I'm going to grab my sticker binder and open it to my monthly header section. So I'm gonna pull a couple things. The first is our Seasonal Glam Monthly, which is designed to go on monthly layouts. Then I'm gonna grab our big headers, which is designed to fit perfectly in the EC and Happy Planners and also the Deluxe Monthly EC. And the second page too. And then, oops. And then the Glam Planner headers. So if you, purchase our headers, you get all three of these. That way you can decide what works for you. And we don't charge for the extras because we assume not everyone's gonna use both unless you're like me and a few members in our community who use multiple planners. So if you're curious what the difference is here between you know how I use them for my EC planner, I use the EC hourly as a time planner. So literally just planning my time and we're not here yet. So let me show you what I mean real quick. So if we flip back to last week, this is a planner I use for literally just managing my time. And then I use my GP or glam planner for a memory planner. So this planner, the focus is more about like what I wanna remember from the day, not necessarily like how much I got done. So different or what I got done. So different emphasis. So let's put down our GP headers. So I'm just, actually, I'm gonna take this out. I don't always take it out, but since we're gonna be doing some serious work on this layout, I will. All right, so we'll take the top header, and this just fits perfectly right above the bar here with the days of the week. So put that down, and then the next side. Next, I'm gonna put the bottom bar on and you'll notice that our headers starting this year really tell a fun seasonal story. So this particular header, uh-oh, I didn't get it on straight. <laughs> Take two. This particular header is just a fun outdoor park reading scene and I love how this path connects. So it's easiest if you line it up with this bottom line here. So the path connects here and in this empty box, we're gonna put this gal reading right here. There, 
now we have a really fun, beautiful story of a spring day. This last box, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. I'll put it somewhere just to decorate. Maybe the first day of spring would be really cute. And we can do that now, actually, why not? So let's look at our seasonal living list and see when the first day of spring is. First day of spring is uh, March 20th. So we'll put it down on the 20th. And then we'll add the header that goes with it or label first day of spring line this up on the bottom all right looks beautiful next I'm going to add my fun dates so with our headers we only include one set of the dates because they just wouldn't quite fit so we released this past month some date flags if you have two planners, a GP and an EC or something else, and you want to have a whole set of dates without snagging multiple headers, that's what this is for. So we did flags, uh, they come with circles, so we did flags just to kind of change it up. So let's see, should I do my circles or my flags? I usually do my flags on this planner and the circles on the EC just because these are a little bit more compact and uh, I don't know I think they look they look fun in this planner the box sizes are exactly the same size but I don't know for some reason I just like my flags in the in the GP maybe because they're just a nice change so I'm gonna go one by one and add all of my date flags put all of my date flags on I decided to use this square from the seasonal glam monthly and put it on the 8th because of 8th is a very special day in the paper and glam community it is our subscription day so all of our subscription orders come in on the 8th and then we glam so hard to have them out by the 15th and it's a high holiday in paper and glam world and do you guys know why it's the 8th I don't know that I've ever told you. It's because Paper and Glam was started in 2008. So eight is kind of my lucky number. I was also born on the 18th. And fun fact, almost all of Paper and Glam, Team Glam has been hired on the 8th or the 18th. I create this timeline in my Apple Notes of just everything important that's ever happened to me. So it has everything from the day I was born to the current, like when I quit my job to do paper and glam full time, the higher date of everyone uh, here on Team Glam, and then just like the day I graduated from college, the day I started and quit and finished all of the jobs I've had, um, the day of my first kiss, just like, you know, life milestones. And it's actually really cool to look back. And what's really crazy as I looked back is I have met so many people who were really just instrumental in my life on the 18th, which is, uh, yeah, no lucky number, like I said. So lots of January 18s and lots of eights. I've gotten a few requests to do a video on how I use my Apple Notes to manage my business. We kind of live and breathe Apple Notes as far as planning goes for things that are shared across, you know, multiple members of Team Glam. So it's really been a tool that's changed my life. We looked really hard for a project management software for a few years just to manage our production schedule and our design schedule because it's kind of a lot of a lot of things to keep in the air, a lot of balls to keep in the air and also lots of lots of people working towards those milestones and we really couldn't find uh, something that was a good fit. And then finally I figured out that Apple Notes was exactly what we needed. So everyone gets notifications when something's updated. So let me know if that's a video you would like to see. You can do a fun little screencast. <laughs> I'm going to put the 20th over 
the first day of spring. It's always a good idea to figure out where you want your full boxes before you put down your date flags. All right, we have all of our dates down, so it's already looking pretty fun and seasonal. Next, I'm going to go through and put down the days, our special seasonal celebrations. So I'm just gonna reference my Seasonal Glam Monthly here while I do that. So we have Mardi Gras on the 5th. I know the God and Glam community is in living in anticipation of Lent. So there's Mardi Gras and then we have Lent the next day, of course. Ash Wednesday on the 6th. Then we have Women's Day on the 8th. Which is also Glam Mail Day. Can you guys think of a fun celebration for Women's Day besides subscribing to Glam Mail? <laughs> I I feel like that's one of those that you could celebrate in so many different ways and you guys always have the best ideas. Barbie Day. I will probably celebrate Barbie Day by reading my Barbie style book. It's such a fun book. It sits on my nightstand and it's basically a collection of Barbie's Instagram which is one of my favorite accounts. It's just really fun and they style Barbie in a really just whimsical way. Just her going about about her life. All right, in Santa Monica. <laughs> All right, and the 10th is Spring Forward. Have you guys seen the Barbie house in Santa Monica? I went and visited it a couple years ago. It was the creator of Barbie's house, Ruth Handler. And it's a fun little photo op if you are in LA or visiting LA. We actually illustrated it for our Glam Beach Day weekly kit that's coming out in July. So if you have a beach vacation planned or if you're like me and you just need to take advantage of living by the beach, it's a fun one. And speaking of the July collection, we, oh, that's it. That's all of our days. Let's see if there's any others before we talk about the July collection. Let's see, spring cleaning, floral decor, lucky charms, and no, I don't, not sure when all of those are gonna happen. So now we'll put our icons on. So I like to match up the seasonal celebrations with the icons here. So we have two sizes of spring in the air, is in the air. I'm gonna use this smaller one on the GP layout here and then the larger one on the EC. So that looks really fun. I love how well that matches. You know, I love a good color coordination. Oh no, I smeared glam mail. Heartbreaking. <laughs> Planner problems. All right, um, Women's Day. We'll use the little hands. I didn't smear too bad, I just gotta be careful. When I put my stickers down, I should just use my tweezers. All right, so the July collection, we have been talking about what the seasonal extra should be for July, and I would love your input. So if you are new to Paper and Glam, let me talk about what a seasonal extra is really quick while I match up these icons with their respective day. So in the Glam Monthly Kit, we have the first four pages follow the seasonal celebrations, and then the two pages at the end are what's called the seasonal extra. And the seasonal extra, you know, of course, if it's like September, it's going to be glam fall, or if it's, um, you know, there's like a high holiday, then it's going to follow that. But for July, you know, we have 4th of July, but it's, there's a lot of glam Americana already in the kit. So we usually tend to do something a little bit different. Last year we did glam cookout. So an option would be to give that an update, but we still have some left. So those are up in the shop. So we could, we could give that a refresh, but I would love your ideas for other seasonal extras you would like to see. We have a workout one coming out with May. We have Glam Summer coming out with June. April is Glam Easter. And yeah, just keep in mind with your amazing requests that they've got to be kind of universal. So they can't be like Glam School or Glam Mom or anything that's, um, you know, that kind of is specific to a certain season of life. And where's our cross? Last seasonal celebration. 
Ash Wednesday. All right. So I don't really have anything coming up in March. So I think that is actually kind of a wrap on this layout until we until we get further into the month. But I love how it came out. So I'm just gonna put it back in my planner and we will move on to doing the same with the EC. So some ideas we've been tossing around for that seasonal extra is uh, um, just like updating our Glam Eats. So we're re-releasing our Glam Eats in um, signature releases. So they're full sheets of pizza nights coming out in May or April actually. And then um, we have brunch coming out in May or April. I can't remember which right now. Um, and we are slowly just re-releasing all of those that were in one full sheets on the OG original glam eats. So we could send out just like some fun, pretty universal signature stuff. Uh, but I feel like we already did pizza and brunch. So those might be like the most universal because we all I'm sure have different kind of food habits. I personally have pizza night on Friday nights and I look forward to it all week when I'm eating my leaves, also known as my salads. And then by Friday night, I'm over my leaves. <laughs> Darn it little bit too low, but I'll cover that with a, you know what I should have done, you guys? I made a egregious planner error. You can learn from my mistakes. This one needs to go on first so it lines up nice. So we have a nice seasonal story. Let's see, maybe I can adjust it. Let's see. So put this one on first, then put that top one on, because this one you can line up with the lines down here and then add that one. That way you don't make the mistake I did. I was chit-chatting. I didn't quite get it on straight, but that's okay. Close enough. Like Wednesday's covered a little bit, but that's all right. And then this one's easy because you can line it up right here. So that way it goes on nice and straight in type awesome fashion. All right. Fits like a champ. Oops, sorry. You guys didn't see that. I was off camera. All right. Got to zoom out for the EC. All right. Now the little extras. I loved how this looked on the first day of spring. So I'm going to duplicate that here on EC. And then we have glam mail day. So it's on the eighth. So I'll use this box here. All right. And I'm not going to write on it this time. I learned my lesson. Next, we'll put on our date dots here. Actually, we have an empty box over yonder. So let's see, which one should we use here? Should we use plaid or should we use another birdie? Birdie would be really cohesive, but we haven't used plaid yet. Decisions, decisions. Let's see. That might look kind of busy or it might look cute. Okay, option one. Option two. Kind of liking the plaid. And next, date flags, or excuse me, date dots. What are you guys looking forward to in March? For me, March is like my spiritual and physical boot camp month. Spiritual because it's Lent, so the readings for God and Glam get a little bit heavier through the Lenten season. And if you're just joining us, God and Glam is our Bible study. So we read a verse a day together. It's actually five days a week-ish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And then for physical boot camp. So since college, I've been attending the Stagecoach Music Festival. And if you're like, what's that? It is basically Coachella's country sister. It's exactly the same, same venue, same everything. It's just the weekend after the two Coachella weekends. And we have been going since 2008, like I said. So it's a serious tradition. It's kind of the beginning of summer for me. It's something I look forward to all year. I mean, we start planning Stagecoach for the next year, like the day after Stagecoach, like on the way home from the Stagecoach every year. And we're actually doing a meetup this year for Stagecoach. If you are in Palm Springs or you're going to Stagecoach, send me an email. It's in the works. I don't have details yet. I'm not sure where it's going to be, but we'll probably just meet at a restaurant or something. 
and uh, let's see what else about state church oh spiritual boot camps or excuse me physical boot camps so the day or kind of the sunday after valentine's day whenever that falls i kind of go into serious training mode where i make sure i'm getting all of my workouts in and i'm eating well skip a few of my pizza nights because uh, you know summer is coming and then it's just kind of a nice way to start summer we're really busy August through February, especially busy um, just with like the planning, the planning world. Those are kind of when our big holidays are and it's a little bit slower in March and April. So it's a good time to onboard new members of Team Glam and really focus on self-care and whatnot. So I am making sure I'm getting two or three Pilates sessions in a week. And then I've been doing Soul Cycle once a week, and then on top of that, two or three sessions in the sauna. I have a sauna here at my building, which is one of the reasons I chose this building. And I just can't say enough about how much that has improved my health and was one of the key components to me getting healthy again after I had a couple years of health issues. And if you're like, wait, what? That is in vlog 43. We talked about that quite a bit. It's an, I know it's an hour long, but I talked a lot about it at the beginning and the, the end. So speaking of, of sauna and detox, I'm like all about detox because, you know, I want to look and feel great forever so I can keep glamming so hard. So in that vlog, I was talking about how uh, I kept running into Ashton Kutcher and I was afraid I was going to get arrested because I literally saw him like four times a day. And um, I didn't quite finish the story. So I was talking about how, you know, people in LA are so all about uh, detox and just like the health benefits of staying on top of the toxins that just come into our body through, you know, the food that we eat and the air that we breathe and, you know, maybe the cleaners that if you know you use in your house hopefully not you know all natural cleaners if possible but you know maybe the cleaners that are in your favorite restaurant or whatever we're just constantly coming into contact with um, things that we weren't meant to come into contact with and so it's important to stay on top of on top of that inside your body so that you know you can look great and feel great for decades to come anyway so um we saw we kept running into ashton kutcher and i was like oh my gosh he just has not aged i swear and he was just talking about how he sits in the sauna for like an hour every day and how he just stays on top of the toxins and so that night we got home or one night we got home and it was like two in the morning right because it's after the festival and we're sitting there eating our street tacos because la quinta has this amazing quote unquote street taco cart um, that literally the bus after stagecoach drops you off in front of this delicious taco cart. It's marketing genius. But anyway, so we were eating our tacos, we were flipping through the channels and Valentine's Day came on, which Ashton Kutcher is in. And literally he looks exactly the same in that video, or excuse me, that movie came out like 10 years ago. And I mean, you could not tell the difference. He is in just great shape. So I was like, okay, I'm on the right track with my sauning. That's a fun, fun little story. Are you guys country music fans? Danielle, a member of our team, showed me this really cute meme the other day that said, I don't understand people who don't listen to country music because what is your wedding song gonna be? And I was cracking up because, right? All the country vibes. I was raised on 90, 90s country. So give me some like 90s Toby Keith, like 90s Kenny Chesney. Yes, please. What are your favorite songs right now? Julianne, shout out to Julianne, posted this amazing song I've had in repeat in the Garden Glam group. It's called You Will Know Me, and I put it on the Garden Glam playlist on Spotify. All right, break in the story. We are done with our layout for date dots at least, so I'm gonna toss these sheets and I'll keep these, let's see. Now I might need to bust out another seasonal glam monthly to add my festive days here. Okay, so Julianne posted my current favorite song, which is You Will Know Me by Stephanie Gretzinger. And if you are into Christian worship, you might have heard of Stephanie. She's my favorite worship artist. She's kind of similar to Kim Walker, if you're familiar with like Jesus culture who Kim Walker was to me, at least back in the day. Um, Stephanie's album, The Undoing, just was 
probably like one of the few CDs that I would say changed my life. I mean, I used to listen to it every morning for probably two years. Just an incredible album. It's every track is just the best. It was just my wake up, my wake up CD. And it was timed perfectly so that I got through my whole morning routine as it was ending. So it was one of those things where it's like, this was back when I worked in an office. So it's like I knew I needed to be at certain places in my routine, you know, based on what track we were on. All right, Barbie Day on the 9th. My other favorite song is Khalid Better. I just love it. I had a morning where that song came on the radio. I was driving to Soul Cycle. It was like seven on a Sunday and uh, there was nobody out. So it felt like I had the place to myself. I love when that happens. I was vlogging about that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that song came on and I was just like, man, there's the Hollywood sign. And cause I was going to the Hollywood Soul Cycle. I was like, wow, just one of those moments where, you know, one minute you're going, you just, it's cold out and you're going to a workout. And then the next minute you're like, oh yeah, I'm living my dream. And it's, it's amazing. Let's see, what else? You guys requested a nice, long, chatty plan with me in multiple planners, so I am here for it. So I hope that this is fun. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know because it might be fun to answer some in, in our plan with me's. I haven't gotten to any vlogs so far this month. I think we did two like at the very beginning of February, but I haven't gotten to any because we have been really, um, we've been heads down with a couple fun things that we're going to be rolling out here soon. One is a, a paper and glam, spoiler alert, paper and glam loyalty slash referral program. So you're going to be rewarded for being a subscriber, for of course telling friends, for you know every purchase you make of course. And I feel like I should have centered this spring is in the air because I don't have enough room to write anything anyway because of where I put it, a quarter box probably won't even fit. So I don't think I'll have any plans on the 20th anyway. So let's see, maybe I'll just center it in the middle. Wednesdays are kind of long office days and then I go to church. I've been doing a terrible job making it to church on Sundays for like years, basically since moving to LA. And so um, I've been going to church Wednesday nights. Women's Day is Glam Mail Day. Again. Barbie Day. I'm gonna try and get, with, get through this plan with me with one monthly kit and two planners. We'll see if we can do it. That's my plan. Because the idea between the month for the monthly kit is that we give you enough stickers to be able to a kind of get through whatever planning routine you might have, whether you're planning in you know a happy planner, a happiness planner, a you know EC, a bullet journal, you know whatever it is, you've got the stickers that you can that you you know need for your planning routine, and then if Sorry guys, I lost my train of thought because I realized we didn't include um, doubles of everything, but then I was like, oh yeah, that's because the alarm clock is on Glam Office. I had a moment, I had a type awesome attack because I was like, we tried to include enough stickers for two planners. Then I was like, wait, there's not two alarm clocks, but that's because they're here on Glam Office. Then I remembered that I planned for this. Okay, <laughs> all the details that go into making a collection is just, I mean, it's the joy of my life, but I just want you guys to have everything you need to be organized and inspired and, you know, also keep the emphasis on the main things, which is, you know, enjoying our, our lives. We talked about this a lot in the vlog, but I can tend to get really focused on getting things done. And with owning a business, you know, I'm always, I always want to make sure things are going well and the wheels are on the train and also that we make payroll. <laughs> um, so I can be really focused on like what got done and, and I want to keep the joy focused on, um, you know, enjoying life too, because this is my dream. All right. So we also don't have two crosses from, um, on the monthly and that's because we have so many fun crosses on God and Glam. So we'll take those and, uh, also, we just put God and Glam in the outlet. So if you need a restock, head over. All right, 
So we have all of our celebrations down and I'm gonna just write in here. Actually, let me finish planning before I smear it again. So I like to embellish this sidebar some and I'm gonna use the day banners. I like to use our little day banners that come on the monthly kit. So let's see, back, back, here we go. So there's bows, there's Barbie day, there's cute little coffee and seasonal donuts. Then we have like a self care one. So I'm gonna use this really decorative one here. This is the OG, the one that's been around since the beginning of Land Mail and every March, not every kit. So I'm gonna just put it actually right here since there's not a day. Again, there I go again. I need to center it on this side. Okay. Next, I like to put this April releases sticker on the burst. So I'm gonna layer this on a basic or a header. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna layer it on one of these headers from the Seasonal Glam Monthly. So I think that would match. Should we use these polka dots or the shamrocks? The shamrocks might look really cute next to this, but we have lots of green. We use the shamrocks, even though it's April. <laughs> April releases shamrocks. <laughs> That's all right, it's March. So our new collection releases on the first every month. And April's so cute. It has a, um, our weekly kit for April is actually, music festival inspired. So if you're a concert goer or, you know, you go to Stagecoach or Coachella, that's for you. It's kind of a bit of a pet project since, you know, Stagecoach is my heart. My heart bleeds country music. All right, I, I'm kind of a plan as I go girl. So that's probably gonna be almost it. I am gonna put this little exclamation point on the 15th because we've gotta have all of our April orders out by the 15th every month, so. I'll put that here and then I'll put the little star on glam mail day just to be consistent, I guess. And I should go back and put those on my GP too. All right, I think that's it. So let me just write in glam mail and the rest is a wrap. All right, so I just wrote glam April to subs, AKA subscribers, because you guys are my heart, so I put a little heart next to it. Then I'm gonna use this leftover header from the Seasonal Glam Monthly here because why not? We'll just kind of embellish this side calendar with it. All right, glorious, that looks super cute. I like to use this sidebar for just milestones for the month, so like our loyalty line, um, excuse me, loyalty program launch, and um, yeah, just anything notable that happened or got done during the month. For my weekly, I like to just go completely, plan completely as I go. I might use our Legally Blonde week this week. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it blank, but I do have quite a bit of fun stuff that I do for uh, the GP, so let's move over to that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my date covers, and uh, our date covers come with a few different patterns, and let me flip over to them so we can get on the same page, literally. So our date covers here are really fun. They include three weeks, and we always get the question, why is there only three weeks when there's four weeks for a month? And really it's just pragmatically because four didn't fit and we didn't want to sacrifice these cute little icons at the bottom, and we didn't want the days to, or excuse me, the months to break over like multiple pages. And we figured that we know a lot of you use our weekly kit for like the fourth week of the month. So that may or may not match. And we are also adding date covers to our weekly kits. So that's the logistics there. So first off, this is St. Patrick's week. So I'm going to use these fun St. Patrick's date covers here. For my for my St. Patrick's Day celebration and then these bottom icons you can either use them separately like these would be super cute on the monthly layout and you could just write in your dates but I always felt like the write-in element on date covers was not ideal so for ours I wanted to make sure that you could if like you don't like your handwriting or you just don't want to write it in you have another option so 
options, options, options. We love options at Paper and Glam, so you can just make it your own. How do you guys celebrate St. Patrick's Day? My mom always used to make corn beef and cabbage during St. Patrick's Day. In college, we of course, we had a fun college celebration, like dressing up and going out. But as an adult, I'd love to know how you guys celebrate St. Patrick's Day. We usually just do a family dinner. My cousins are here in LA, so hang out with them a lot. But since Lamb Mom moved back to Napa, we haven't been doing as many family dinners. Alright, so we have our St. Patrick's Day, or clover slash shamrock, never mind, they're shamrocks. Um, sh three leaf shamrock, four leaf clover. Speaking of shamrocks and St. Patrick's, do you know why the shamrock is for St. Patrick's? Day. It's because St. Patrick was all about hope, faith, and love. So that's the three kind of leaves on the shamrock. I learned that recently. All right, so next I'm going to bust out my washi because I like to use coordinating washi on the bottom of my layouts. So I'm just cruising through my sticker binder here and I'm going to grab two of my washies. So I'm going to use the plaid along the bottom so it matches nicely with my clovers. And I feel like Irish stuff tends to be plaid, so I know it's more of a tartan plaid. Or is that Scottish? I might be butchering it. All right, I'm going to use my trusty EC ruler to trim my washi. And the excess actually will fit exactly over a box in your planner if you want to use your scraps. Little fun fact. All right, same with the other side. Just line it up on the bottom here. Next, I'm going to put down some full boxes. So these are our March full boxes. I just grabbed the St. Patrick's Day one. And you guys wanna see something that makes my type awesome heart explode. You can put the sticker down below the date cover and the pattern will match up. I mean, if that's not type awesome heaven, I don't know what is. <laughs> All right, um, I wanna put my weekend banner up here. So I'm actually gonna grab those scraps that we just talked about, the washi scraps. So might as well just use these to decorate. So I'm just going to line them up three down from the top. Oh, they're a little bit too big. So let's trim. All right, so I grab my precision cut scissors and trim. It's always hard to trim just like little pieces off and get it straight, but close enough and then same thing with this other piece and hopefully this is gonna make like a kind of a cute little border for my weekend banner I cut them a little too short but I don't think anyone will notice you guys won't tell all right next I'm gonna use my clover weekend banner because I thought this one would be the cutest in the monthly from the monthly kit so Oh no, gotta put it on straight. Luckily our stickers are pretty darn forgiving. That's pretty darn close. So we have, we this year or this month we had clovers, we had tulips, thought that would be cute for like the first day of spring. We have this weekend banner for next week. I thought that'd be really cute for spring forward week. So I think this is all I'm gonna do for my St. Patrick's week, but let's move forward to the first week of spring because that'll be the next thing we do. So these flowers, Let's see, date covers. I think I'll use the flowers because, you know, first day of spring and then I'll use the matching washi. So same thing, I'm gonna put my washi down and those date covers. And, the, and I think I'm gonna actually do coordinating washi here since we have the green and we have the pink. It'll be cute to put the pink along the bottom. Or we could put the, actually, changing my mind, should I use this big pink one and then the little green one. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. So excited right now. It's gonna be such a fun, festive first week of spring. And then one of these weeks, I'm gonna use my Lucky Weekly kit, fun little unicorn kit. That'll be a separate plan with me. I need to decide which week I'm gonna put it on. First day of spring, I just wanna do like florals on florals on florals. So I'll use this bottom one underneath 
for just some fun extra springy decorations. Then I'm gonna put these on the date covers on top. So I changed my mind and I decided to use the candles on this first week of spring week and save the other weekend banner for the first week of March, the first full week of March here for spring forward. So that's what we have so far. I'm gonna use a full box for first day of spring. Let's see. We'll select a full box here. We should use the spring is in the air with lots of flowers or this might be really cute too. Hello spring with like all the gardening stuff and the patterns match the patterns on the on the flowers and then it might not be too busy. Maybe we'll do that. And we can put that one on the bottom. This new season new life sticker. Let's do that. <laughs> I love how easy it is to get my stickers on straight in the glam planner because they just line up perfectly. All right, so I think that's all I'm gonna do. Let's see, unless on this page, unless there's other celebrations this week, but I don't think so. I think it was just the first day of spring. So we will finish up by doing the first week of March, the first full week, and I'm gonna use just the last date covers I have here, and I'll probably use for my last week of March, in case you're curious, or first week of April, I think I'm gonna use the Lucky Weekly Kit. Let's see. Okay, so this last week, I'm definitely gonna use the Lucky Weekly Kit, and it's gonna be so fun. It's the last week of March. Isn't it fun, like, figuring out what stickers you're gonna use? That's how you know you're a nerd planner. All right, let's do one last week. All right, I just wrapped up my March planning off camera. So here is our monthly view. And then I love the way this came out. This is the one I did off camera. So I put the washi down here. I put the plaid that matches the date covers and then some floral since it's spring forward. And then I love the way our Mardi Gras double box matches. And I put Ash Wednesday up here and I used a basic so that the date cover and the <laughs> basic match perfectly. It looks like all one piece and I didn't quite get it on straight, but you can tell how the, the pattern continues. And I just love that. Use the spring forward weekend banner and the spring forward full box here. So I love how it's like nice and cohesive. I think that I might have thrown it off a little bit with the floral washi down here, but it's not too bad. Live and learn. If I don't like it, I can always just put washi on top of it too. So then we have our St. Patrick's week, just nice and open and matchy matchy. And then we have Hello Spring week. And then lastly, we have a blank week for the unicorn, AKA Lucky Weekly Kit. That's a wrap on planning for a beautiful seasonal March together. I hope that this new series is going to give you lots of fun ideas for your planner, especially since we're using two different planners. If you have feedback or requests for this series, I would love to hear it. We're kind of kicking it off and you guys always have the best ideas. So I will be reading through all of your comments and chit chatting down below. And let's see what else for housekeeping. We have our brand new April collection releasing March 1st. We of course have our rewards and referral program coming. We chit chatted a little bit about that in the video. And yeah, as usual, the best is yet to come. If you are new to Paper and Glam, please subscribe. I would love to hang out with you more often. Follow on Instagram where we've been updating a couple times a day. And we have four Facebook groups for our book club, Bible study, planning and seasonal living. So lots more happening all day, every day. So with that sisters, thank you so much for hanging with me and thank you for everything you do to support me and team glam. It's all for you. So until next time. <laughs>